Hello and welcome to my review for Pokemon Journeys Episode 70. Please, get more Pico. And that's something I've been asking for Team Rocket to do for 11 months now. Well, Pico was introduced on July 12, 2020. I'm recording this on June 12, 2021. Well, Pico has been with them for almost a year now. So let's get into it. Well, Pico has eaten all of Team Rocket's food because of course it has. And this is sort of the last straw as Team Rocket can't deal with it anymore. The idea to leave it back out in the wild on its own is put forward. So James has to be one to do it. As he takes more Pico out. Well, Pico offers him berries it is stored, and it's accidentally leaving a trail of them which eventually leads it back to base when he finally ditches it, and it blasts the trio off. Something I really like about this section is when he's leading it away, it's how they sort of bond with each other. It really wants him to take the berries, he sees how cute it is when it's not hungry. After his first attempt at ditching it, it shows up and still feeds him, and despite everything, even after he ditches it, he wishes its strength out in the wild. I think more Pico getting mad at them and blasting them off is actually justified here. Because, you know, it showed off its good side and leaving it on its own really was mean. Abandoning a Pokemon is something that's always been portrayed as bad here. I don't think Team Rocket feel justified at all to leave it to fend for itself, no matter if it makes them suffer or not. So it follows him into town asking for food, and Jessie's wondering how they'll get rid of it when they see Go catch Eraticate. So she gets the idea to try and get Go to catch more Pico. And well, all of their attempts don't go well as the boys get distracted or more Pico inadvertently thwarts them. I found this to be a pretty funny part. Especially with how the thing that gets more Pico to the boys is when it jumps into a food delivery van and takes it to the lab. And that's just completely by accident. That's great, I like that. And James' reaction to her van driving off is gold. He runs out and wanting it to stop. But Jesse and Meowth are happy of course, because, you know, more Pico's gone. And back in the base, he's not happy at all. But like while they're strategizing about what to do for their next attack or whatever, he's just hoping more Pico's okay. Meanwhile at the lab, Ash and Go have to deal with feeding the Pokemon and seeing Greedent and more Pico eating and eating all the food. And while Morpico is eating, Go tries to catch it, but that doesn't work. And I've gotta be honest, I really thought it would happen and I was a little worried about it. I'm the furthest thing from a Go hater, but I've got strong feelings with this. I didn't want him to actually capture it. This section is also a nice little moment to show off some of the Pokemon at the lab again. I appreciate that, in particular Go's Raichu ingredient. You know we get to see Drizzle. Like giving its food to Morpico when it shows up to try and eat it. The next day Team Rocket attack a shopping mall. Morpico follows the boys out as they head out for Go to catch a Pidgeotto. This leads into a battle against Team Rocket and the, uh, gacha Pokemon. And well, really, that's sort of secondary as Morpico sees the snacks Team Rocket have and goes over to them. The gacha Pokemon suck more than usual, and Natu gets launched into Morpico, making it angry. So it uses Stomping Tantrum and takes out Pikachu and Cinderace. It blasts Team Rocket off with Aura Wheel and Go gets his Pidgeotto. I really do appreciate the fact that Morpico does care about Team Rocket. Sure, it blasts him off while it's in its hangry mode, but that's a hormonal thing. And as soon as it's back to normal, it goes looking for them. So when James sees more Pico looking for them as they're stuck in a tree, that really resonates with him, and he drops down. More Pico is so happy to see him, it's so cute, the music's amazing, and he tosses a Pokeball and it jumps with joy into it. And James has his first Pokemon in this series. Jesse actually mentions it's strong and they want to find a use for it, and the narrator asks if it can become an asset for Team Rocket, so that's really promising and reassuring to me that there will actually be something to come from this as an arc or something. Instead of it just staying as a status quo, but it's just officially James' Pokemon now. But oh my god, I can't believe I actually got to say that. James finally has a Pokemon of his own in this series. It took 70 episodes, but he's finally got a Pokemon and his capture was handled so well. Yeah, more Pico's been a problem for Team Rocket. But as Jesse and the narrator say, this could be a way to make it useful for the team. I love it. Right, I'm gonna say it right now. This is my favourite Journeys episode, without a doubt. If you've been watching my reviews, you know just how much I dislike how Team Rocket has been handled in this series. It's called Pokemon. Why the hell has James not had a Pokemon of his own to bond with? Of course this sort of applies to Jesse too, since what effect feels more like a team member than a regular Pokemon, if that makes sense. But the point is, it's taken so long to get something that I think should be standard, and despite that, it was still handled in an absolutely cute way, and it makes me almost, almost forget Team Rocket's mistreatment in this series. I think Monpico is an absolutely fantastic Pokemon for him too. Would more Pico make sense with Jesse? Yeah, of course. I think their personalities could complement each other quite nicely. I love the idea of the soft-hearted and kind James having this Pokemon. That is a sweetheart. That's a volatile and dangerous side to it. I said back in my episode 67 review that the gag on more Pico eating and starving and hurting them is getting kind of old, and I really do think James will be the best person to help it develop away from that. And again, Jesse and the narrator kind of implies that yeah, something will happen with more Pico for a character arc or something like that. I'm happy with that. The thought that James would miss a Pokemon they've been living with, even if it has been making their lives hell, is so in character. He's on the evil side, sure, but he's still a very kind and understanding person. Well, Pico missed and looked for them when it was split up. No wonder he'll understand it. The fact he officially makes it a member of the team by capturing it is really damn cool. 
And we also haven't had the proper Team Rocket episode focus in so long. The last one was episode 24. That's so long ago, with no proper focus. So what a wonderful way to come back to it, and James and Morpico properly bonding with each other. This also really does raise the question if Jesse will get something as well, but for now, I'm happy that James and Morpico are a pair. The Ash and Go lab section is probably the weakest bit of the episode, but it's still pretty good. Just seeing Morpico in this new environment, a little panic it gave me that Go would get it, seeing various Pokemon we haven't seen in a bit, I just appreciate the section overall. And I can't really say that this will fix my issues with Journey's Team Rocket. It doesn't change the fact that if I rewatch the series, there'll be 69 episodes with all my complaints still standing. It doesn't change that the Gacha is still around. However, I'll say that this is a step in the right direction, and I'm so glad it was done in the best way possible. So I've already said this is my favourite Journey's episode, so of course I fully recommend it. Team Rocket are in the Gala region, and they encounter a wild Morpico. Are they gonna catch it? Spoilers, no. It turns out that Morpeko came to Kanto along with them, and it eats all their food. And you know what? This is great, because I thought they would have caught it off screen in the Sobble episode, and it would become a Gacha Pokemon. They really sacrificed the wonderful relationships Team Rocket have with their Pokemon for the sake of a marketing gimmick. Right off the bat, that's a good start for me. I'm critical of Journey's Team Rocket a lot. They're finally getting to see an episode with some focus on the Pokemon. That's sort of theirs, but not really. But episode 70 is called Please Get More Pico. I really hope that this is going to mean Jesse or James will get it and we'll get some development for it. But I'm also worried that after the way they were this episode, it'll mean they'll go to go to beg it to capture it, and that'll make all my issues with Journey's Team Rocket worse. 